Let's break down some smaller yet very important aspects of operating an ambulance safely. We're gonna talk about adjusting your mirrors, your backup camera, being an effective backer, and avoiding backing situations. First, let's talk about avoiding backing situations. Now, I know, it's inevitable. You will have to back your squad at some point, but we should be doing all we can to avoid that situation in the first place. This means keeping our distance from the car in front of us at a stop sign or stoplight, not pulling too close to an object when arriving on a scene, avoiding parallel parking situations, Also, pay attention to the address you will be approaching. If it's gonna be on the opposite side of the road, you should be turning a block or two ahead of time so you can go around the block and park on the right side of the road. This will avoid U-turn situations and allow us to leave the scene safely and with the flow of traffic. So while I could sit here and break down more clean signals that you can use as a backer, the real important thing is making sure you and your partner are on the same page. This means discussing signals and a plan before you start backing. When giving the agreed upon signals to your driver, make sure they are clear and defined. Remember, your driver is looking at you through a little reflective square. As the driver, if you're unable to see or understand the signals from your backer, stop and explain to your backer what you need from them. When the squad is approaching an obstacle or the space you intend to park in, as the backer, you should be within arm's reach of the back of the squad so you can bang on the side to signal your driver to stop in an instant. As the driver or the backer, if you're unsure during a maneuver, stop Take a second to get out and look before you continue. Now, adjusting your mirrors is a key factor in safe driving. So here's how we properly adjust the mirrors on all of our different types of squats. When adjusting your mirrors, make sure you're sitting in an upright position, the same position you would be when you're driving. Make sure that you can see a small portion of your squad and also the lane next to you. In new and old style transits, your mirror adjustment knob is located just to the left of the steering wheel. To adjust the mirrors, turn the knob to the left or right to select which mirror you would like to adjust. Then use the knob as a joystick to rotate the mirror in whichever direction you may need. In Chevy box squads, the mirror adjustment is located just to the left of the steering wheel and on the door. Use the switch to select which mirror you'd like to adjust and use the directional pads to adjust the mirror. When you are done adjusting, return the switch to the center position. These mirrors are also heated. The on and off switch for the heated mirrors is located just above the mirror adjustment. Make sure to turn that off when your mirrors are fully defrosted. On all ALS squads, the mirror adjustment knob is located on the driver's door. It works the same as the transits, twisting left or right to select which mirror you will be adjusting and using the knob like a joystick. When you're finished adjusting the mirror, be sure to return the knob to the center position. The lower blind spot mirror must be adjusted manually on all of our squads. It's recommended that you have your partner do that while you sit in the driver's seat to make sure it's in the right spot. With properly adjusted mirrors, you should be able to see your backer while seated in an upright position. It may sometimes be necessary to reposition your body to get a different view out of the mirror. When backing the squad, we should be using the backup camera just like a mirror. That means checking it every two to three seconds. In BLS box squads and all ALS squads, your backup camera monitor is located here. In BLS transit squads, your backup camera monitor will be located here, here, or here. If you notice that your backup camera screen is off, simply press the power button in the bottom left corner to turn the screen on. 
Now, some squads have multiple backup cameras, and they should automatically switch between them when you put the squad in reverse. If they don't, however, you can press the camera or select button on the screen to select the camera that you would like to use while backing. A reminder though, we should not be adjusting these cameras unless absolutely necessary. For those squads that have multiple cameras on the back, we should also not be adjusting the angle of those cameras. Before you begin backing, be sure to check the surrounding areas with your mirror and your backup camera to ensure you have a safe amount of room for your maneuver. While we should utilize the backup camera in all backing situations, it is important to note that sometimes the video on the screen may be distorted. See what I mean? If you combine all the things we've talked about today and put them into practice, that will make you a safer driver. And come on. Safety is our number one goal. Are you kidding me? Not a doctor.